What's not to understand, you're going to see a kick-ass wrestling match between MVP and Ruffy Silverstein. What more do you need to know? Well, what is this, PD PWA Fan Appreciation Night? Th th this is crap. They, they shouldn't have good people like this. Th these are matches that should not be in Brantford. Well, I'm sure the fans of Brantford would argue about that. Home to many, many great matches in the past two years. And here we go with a handshake to start. And we can expect to see some technical brilliance, explosive high offense, and some high impact maneuvers in this one, Jesse. Start things off with a stand side headlock by Ruffy. MVP backs him into the corner. Ref JC3 in there calling the action on this match. We got more referees tonight than we have ring posts. Well, I think you're miscounting because there's three refs and four ring posts. Oh, that's right. Five if you count Dirty D. And there's Ruffy trying to rally the fans behind him. Of course, another Great Lakes chant. That will never die here in Brantford. It should have long ago. Folks, you want to get the background on that story, you're going to have to go back and, and pick up some DVDs from last summer when the great uh, war happened between the two federations. Of course, PWA came out on top, and that's why we're here today. In Brantford, watching this MVP challenge. Certainly, and it doesn't get much better than this. You see, Robbie's got him from behind there. And these guys are taking it slow and easy. They're both masters at capitalizing on the smallest mistake, so neither wants to make one. Well, it's like you said, last time they wrestled here in the MVP challenge, they ended in a time limit draw. Now, they, one of them's going to want to get the win, obviously, this time. That's right, and let's not forget, I mean, MVP's beaten Eddie Osborne, Michael Elgin. Uh, the, the list goes on and on and on and on of guys he's beaten in this challenge, just about everybody. Other than the sport, because he didn't show up. That's right, that's right. He didn't He didn't beat you yet, Jesse. But he didn't beat Ruffy Silverstein either. So uh, Ruffy's got, uh, he's got his chance right now to be the first guy to take the MVP challenge victory home. And again, the lockup. Top wrist lock now. Ruffy trying to crank it on. MVP, don't forget, had some shoulder damage last year. And a uh, smart move on Ruffy's part to start targeting perhaps that upper trunk area. No, oh, absolutely. MVP has had injuries all over his entire body. He, he went through the ladder match with Eddie Osborne in Kitchener, Ontario. And he just came out so viciously hurt after that, he took time off. I, I'm surprised we actually see him here now. Yeah, he had three operations, folks, after that match with Eddie Osborne and Kitchener. Just absolutely insane uh, tables, ladders, and chairs match they had. And, uh, of course, he was robbed of the victory in the end. But here he sees he's uh, turned that, uh, that arm lock into a pinning predicament. Oh, it's a good thing he rolled through there. <laughs> or else he might have busted something, too. We might have had our second broken arm of the night. But there, Ruffy, he lets him go. And I think that's good sportsmanship on his part right there. Uh, good sportsmanship's poor. Like, come on. The, you go for the win. He's just feeling him out. He'll find a spot in there. Maybe he'll find one of those weakened body parts from before, and then he'll break it. Yes, it could be strategy on his part, too. Let him go once or twice, and then on the third time, sucker him in. That happens a lot. You know, this is pro wrestling, after all. And there you see uh, MVP trying to use his feet to get out from underneath that. And there he's, what has he got done there? The bicep did, kicked out. Did move there. Kind of Charlie horse the bicep a little bit there. And uh, that, could, uh, that could totally ruin Ruffy's social life right there. <laughs> he heard you. Apparently, uh, apparently, uh, he heard that. Okay, that. You were the one that said the bad stuff, and they're chanting for me. That's I'm wrong. pretty sure that was you, Jesse, that said that. I think I was drinking water at the time. In any case, I'll probably pay for that later, folks, in ways I don't even want to think about. And now MVP got the front face lock locked on in there. Ruffy's backing him into the corner. No, stabs oh. him over. And Bridge for the pin. Beautiful move right there. Quick two count. Yeah, very quick two count. All these refs with a different cadence. And uh, ref JC3 is always quick on that count, even if he is often slow in position to actually count it. But now we see MVP's targeting Ruffy's shoulder right now. Oh, and they're both, I couldn't believe they both got up so quick. Big clothesline right across the throat. There's another one, connects solidly. Ruffy's out onto the apron with that one. MVP stays on him. Brings him back up. Big body slam now. Drops the knee. Breaks that down on the shoulder, on the shoulder blade, the collarbone. Goes for the cover. 
All these moves targeting the upper back, the shoulders. You know, he's got to be thinking about that mind bender down the road. No, absolutely. He's going to either try and knock him out or tap him out. That's about the only thing that you're going to really get here that'll make it a, def a defining decision. That's the word I was trying to spit out there. There you go, another suplex from uh, Ruffy Silverstein. He can hit you with those from anywhere. There's the cover. Very fast count. MVP's got to be quick on this because JC3 is not wasting any time with those counts. And there's Ruffy targeting MVP's back now. Which means they have to take it home quickly or try and work well because if not, JC3 will count them down. They won't have the energy to kick out by the time he's, he's finished with them. Yeah, they, they got to know by now that be any kind of a pinning attempt is a dangerous spot to be in. And there's uh, Ruffy's tying him up now. Of course, Ruffy's a master on the mat with uh, we'll submissions. The, do you think we'll see the machine gun? I'm not sure he's going to bust out the machine gun in this uh, match. I'm sure the fans will call for it. He's got almost got like a, uh, a variation of some kind of uh, dragon sleeper almost on him there. Hard to tell from this angle. I'm pretty sure it's painful. Absolutely. Now he's dragging him back in a, a modified surfboard type move there. He's probably reefing on his chin or fish hooking him at the same time. In any case, you can bet an MVP's in the world of hurt. He's trying to get the fans' rhythm going so he can get moving. Looks like he's trying for a jawbreaker here. There it is. Oh, for sure. And that'll break it up. But look, it hurt his own head. He's not able to capitalize. He's got Ruffy down. He's got to start moving now. Oh, a big forearm across the back. So far, no real uh, solid control from either one of these guys. Traded the advantage back and forth throughout. Wouldn't it be something if we saw another draw, Jesse? Oh, another draw would be something these fans probably would riot over. Oh, my goodness, the power. Yeah, beautiful gut wrench into a slam there. And there's JC3 with that count. At least he's consistently fast with it. MVP questioning it right now. And there's Ruffy firing back. And, you know, make no mistake, folks, Ruffy's got a hell of a right and left hand. He doesn't have to throw him very far to make him hurt. But there's MVP. Now he's going to tie Ruffy up. Treat him with some submissions on the mat. He's trying to roll that shoulder over and get it underneath. There it is. It's kind of like a top ab stretch there with the man seated on the mat. He's trying to get, he's trying to get his hand underneath the leg and roll him back for a pin. Oh, beautiful move. He's got him locked right up. Pure ab strength and quad strength right there from Ruffy to get out of that one. And look at him drying his fist into Ruffy's ribs right there. If you get one of your knuckles in between a rib, you might be able to just pop it out of place. Certainly you could crack that cartilage, and in any case it hurts. But oh, there's a cross face by Ruffy, and he's cranking it on. We can see the end of the challenge right here. MVP screaming in pain, saying no. He's got to be careful not to even look like he's tapping at this point. Oh, and he rolled him over. Roll Ruffy, back. right back into it. Ruffy Silverstein, the man's a master on the mat with submissions, as you can see. That heart dungeon training coming into effect as he's busting it out. And then MVP looks like he's up to one knee now. He's got turned into it a little bit. A lot of the pressure off now. And now he's trying to roll Ruffy back. He's using the ropes. Yeah, they're up in the apron, and that's too bad, Jesse. Right to the floor. Oh, right outside. And Ruffy's not letting go. He's still cranking it on. Ruffy Silverstein kind of snapped here. And yeah, JC's out there telling him to, to, to let go. He's tapping on the floor. MVP's tapping on the floor. What's going on with this? Ruffy not releasing that hold. MVP rolling him over, trying to get out of it. He does. Looks like his Ruffy shoulder's hurt. Ruffy's still on him. The ref hasn't called this yet. He's letting this go. A lot of leeway. No, it looks like... Uh, well, he's still beating him down outside. I don't know if he's counting these guys out or not. Headbutt by Ruffy Silverstein. <laughs> now, JC's on the floor here with them. He's, he's trying to get them back to the ring, but neither of these two are really paying much attention to him at the present moment. Oh, and after that last headbutt, uh -oh. MVP only reverses the whip. Ruffy into the post, across the table, into some lucky fan's lap. Yeah, but that lucky fan is 12 and a boy. Well, he's drinking a beer, so welcome to the PWA. In any case, MVP's out there after him now, and they're out in the war zone. And now, finally, uh, Ref jc 3s in the ring with the official count. MVP rolls him in there. At the count of six, I'm up to about 87 right now, but who cares? The match carries on. No time limit? No time limit. 
No count out, let's hope. I guess that's the way it's going. And now he's working the ankle lock on him. It's gonna turn into an SDF now. He's gonna try it. He's fighting, oh, he's got him in like a modified surfboard back there. Oh, he's got the leg cramped in. And he puts his forehead on his back. He's, he's yeah, oh, he's let that one go. He's gonna work something else. A little too close to the ropes, maybe. Gonna get Ruffy's hands away so he can't grab those ropes. Good thinking on MVP's part. And now, you see, he's catching a breather, too. Well, something Ruffy's not able to do right now. You can see MVP's taking them deep breaths, trying to get that oxygen back in his lungs. Meanwhile, Ruffy's got to struggle against that hold. All MVP has to do is lean back, but look at Ruffy. He's coming back. Oh. MVP moves to the chin. Now, you know, Ruffy's going to get out of that. Now he's up there. Oh, look at that. Look, drag him down by the eyelids, Jesse. Literally by his eye sockets. Did you see that? He put two fingers in. He could have dialed home from there. Yeah, that was uh, the first real uh, dirty move of the, of the match. And now he's laying the stomps in. Not very hard though, no targeting any spot. Looks like he's gonna try and tie him up for another another type of submission here. Going for like a Texas Cloverleaf type thing going on here. Now he's sitting right down on it. But uh, you see Ruffy though, he's got his arms underneath him. He's not totally posted there, so MVP not gonna fight against that. Wise move on his part. And uh, cause Ruffy could have slipped underneath and rolled him up. We've seen that happen before. Absolutely. An amazing technical display of Matt Wrestling from these two guys, and you see MVP now starting to glow a little bit. Some of his ego and his arrogance showing through. There's the cover. Ruffy kicks out. And MVP now looks a little frustrated what he's gonna do with him. Oh, vicious knee across the short ribs. Just a brutal knee drop from MVP. And uh, Ruffy Silverstein, as well muscled in the stick as he is in the trunk, had to be feeling that. And there's a nice forearm straight to the side of the face. Ruffy's reeling. Now MVP looks like he's closed fist, closed fist indeed. But he looks like he feels uh, confident. He's in control. He's just punching Silverstein down. Silverstein, one of the greatest technical wrestlers in Ontario, no doubt about it, just eats a solid back elbow. Nothing technical about that. Funny that JC3 is getting on him now after letting him brawl outside the ring for four hours earlier. No, absolutely. And it's it's almost desperation now. Both these men have tried a lot. They've tried submitting each other. Now it's coming down to a brawl, Gordo. That's it. It's coming down to gut check time now. These guys only got so much more on their clock. And uh, oh, MVP takes a bad spill over uh, Ruffy. Ruffy capitalizes. There's a cut. Oh! MVP kicks out. I thought Ruffy had him right there. Now it's Ruffy back in control. And now he's going after the back. Vicious elbow right up the spine. That'll set him up straight. Now he's gonna stand on him, grind his foot into a kidney. That way you know you can, oh man. And MVP now, he's a hurting unit. And you gotta know that uh, they gotta be feeling some fatigue right now. And they've laid quite a whooping on each other and all that pulling and stretching. Can't be feeling any good. Those muscles gotta be tired and aching. Ruffy big whip, huge clothesline, takes MVP's head almost off. Oh, just barely kicks out. But he's going straight for the pin. He's, he's capitalizing. He's doing what he needs to do to try and win, but MVP just keeps kicking out. That's right. Well, Ruffy could do what no man's done, and that's win an MVP challenge. And uh, he's right on it. But MVP kicks him off. He's up there, kicked him in the ribs again. Big uppercut there to the jaw. The same jaw that got racked earlier in a match by that jawbreaker. Now a whip to the corner. MVP flicking his hair out of his eyes, thinking about it. He's giving Ruffy a lot of time. There's the foot up on the charge. Tucked it into his eye socket. Rubbed it around with his toe and oh, just clobbered him with the clothesline. But they're both down. Can Ruffy get over and cover? There he is, he's making it. Ref JC3, count that down. Oh, and he just barely lifts the shoulder blade up. Yeah, Ruffy rolls him right over. Is he going for the sharpshooter? No, no. Oh, he's going to punish him, though. He's going to punish him. But that, oh, and there he is. He's forcing the arc there in the back. He's tearing on that shoulder, that previously injured shoulder, and had two operations on it. Plus his knees, plus his back. It, it's, it's over for MVP. It's, it, the challenge is over. It could very well be. He's tied up tight. Ruffy's got him locked in. Ref JC3 is asking him. I have no idea what the time limit is in this match or if he can ride this out. This is, it, 
There doesn't seem to be any way to escape unless Ruffy lets him out and Ruffy rolls him over for a pin and a bridge. Oh, he kicks out. I think Ruffy was almost in danger of pinning himself there, Jess. From our, our angle here, it looked like his shoulders were down as well. There was four shoulders on that mat. Yeah, and uh, the ref was just counting, so it would have been an interesting decision there. That didn't sound good. Oh, and he hits the neck breaker. And uh, Ruffy Silverstein clutching the back of his head. He's hurting. MVP's hurting, but he's dragging himself over. He's got a little bit left in his tank yet. There he is, drapes across for the cover. Oh, that's like two and nine, nine tenths or whatever. Very, very close, near fall, as they say. One now, second away, I think is the term. Absolutely, one second. That's all it takes. MVP rolls him over. Oh, and now he's cranked it on right now. And he's in danger of putting Ruffy Silverstein to sleep with this one. He's got that side choke rocked on. Legal move, he's not blocking the airways, but he's crimping those arteries to the head. It's blood loss. You need blood for oxygen to work, and, you know, brain needs everything. That's for sure. And then you see how he's got Ruffy bent over, too, folks. He can't draw much air into his lungs anyway, crimped over like that. A uh, very precarious position for Ruffy Silverstein. But he wouldn't submit an MVP. He's not going to waste. That took a lot of his own energy trying to put that on. No sense going any further. Now he's got the big whip. No, Ruffy reverses it. And a huge clothesline, but MVP's right up. Another one, and a back elbow puts him down again. Where are they getting this energy? And oh, oh, a spine buster. And there's the cover right there. One, two, and three. Oh no, I can't believe he kicked out. That's just amazing. MVP somewhere finding it inside himself to kick out after that amazing spine buster. And now Ruffy's gonna lock on the, the sharp chair. Here we go. The referee should be counting that down right now, actually. And there, there it is. How's MVP going to get out of this one? Oh, look, he's popping his shoulder under. That really is the only defense. you got to curl through, Jesse. That's right. Relief pressure on your lower back. It's the only way you can get out of this. Oh, he managed to make the ropes right there. I think he made a mistake not grabbing the foot when he was trying to curl under, give himself some leverage. There's Buffy right back on it again. But oh my God, MVP's got, he's fighting it, he's struggling. Ruffy's Rep, trying to, kicks him off. Gives himself a few seconds. He's getting up quicker than Ruffy is. Oh, they both dropped down. They both went for each other. Yeah, that's it. And there's uh, MVP rolled through for the side headlock. Ruffy slips out, MVP's got the arm ringer on him. No, oh, Ruffy, fireman's carry. Oh, but he slips out of it. Tries for the roll up, gets it. Oh, but Ruffy slips it. MVP trying to run the ropes, no. Ruffy just jumps on him. Oh, this could be the mind bender right here. He's got him set up. There it is. He hits his move. Oh, the mind bender went out. Ladies and gentlemen, the Eddie Osborne, Reggie Marley, they've attacked both guys. There you see it right there. Eddie just threw MVP out of the ring. And they're both on Ruffy Silverstein. You know what? Oh. What's Reggie's taking a Reggie's picture. taking a picture with his cell phone. The fans are irate, screaming. What a horrible way to end this. Those dirty, rotten, sneaky, conniving Eddie Osborne and Reggie Marley. Two cameras. And now they're taking Eddie cameras. Can't pay for two 